Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your August 10th through the 17th love forecast. This is going to be for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please do know that this is going to be a general message and not all the informations or energies resonate with everybody out there. Please feel free to check your other placements. And as always, please do remember that this will not give you all the informations or energies needed to make a decision. So if you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation, please do get a private reading. And for me, you can find that information in the detail box down below this video. To all my subscri subscribers that are Sagittarians, I want to give a great big thank you and a shout out for all the wonderful donations and readings and just tuning in each and every time that I post a video. Without you, none of this would be possible, so I'm sending great big love, light, and healing your way. Once you make the announcement, we have officially reached a thousand subscribers, so that is a bit of a milestone, so I will be making an announcement soon um, about a giveaway for free private love ratings, so stay tuned for that announcement. And last but not least, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We're glad to have you here at Considerian House of Tarot. Please do consider joining us by hitting that subscribe button. And before everyone leaves today, please be sure to hit that like button to help this video circulate for all. All right, Sagittarius, without further any further ado, let's get into your reading. We're going to look at your past, present, future energies between you, the person you're most connected to, and the shared energy between you. All right. So Sagittarius, in the past, you're coming through as the higher font. Now, this very well could be in a connection. This way, it has to do with family values, um, higher levels of commitment, marriage, engagement, long-term partnership here. You could have been connecting with the Taurus as well. The person that you're most connected with is coming through in the past with the Three of Swords. So this is past heartbreak, pain, betrayal, and love here. And the shared energy between you is the Six of Wands. This is overcoming difficulties for achievement and victory. Wanting to come through the situation victoriously, and this could also represent for some reconciliation. Current energy, you have the Six of Pentacles. This is talking about the reciprocity, the give and take between two or more people in a relationship or situation. The person that you're most connecting with is coming through as the King of Pentacles. This could be a earth sign, does not have to be, but it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But this speaks to the stability of a relationship. This is somebody who's open to sharing their resources, their time, their money, their abilities, though not foolishly. This person does not take, take risk. This is the archetype of the um, husband or spouse. Masculine, feminine, does not matter. This is life partner here. Um, this person does have trouble showing their emotions, however. And the shared energy between you is the Magician, the card of Taurus. I'm just going to say we have Taurus here, Taurus here. So some of my Sagittarians may be connecting with the Taurus. Energy of Taurus are here as well. But this is, has the ability to turn things around, to manifest what you truly want into um, reality. Future energy coming in. The Six of Swords for you. Sagittarius, so this is leaving behind... Troubled times, turbulent water, moving towards something that's going to be more calm, reassuring, st stabilizing. I'm getting stability here. Um, this is moving towards alignment with your highest goals and dreams and the people that are going to support you in that. This is going to be leaving behind a pattern, a behavior, a person, a thing. The person that you're most connected with has got the Eight of Cups, so this is a walking away from something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. This could be walking towards you or this could be walking away. And the energy between you is the Nine of Pentacles. This is that earth energy, the stability. Having everything that you need, ability to take care of yourself, not needing to rely on anybody else to take care of you. Having the ability to set your attentions and the universe manifests it to you. Um, this is a single person's card, so both of you may walk away from this situation. Overall energy here is the Knight of Swords coming in quick and hot with a truth, speaking knowledge, wisdom here. And the Three of Pentacles is the hidden energy working on, on together, working together to build a solid foundation, to build something that's going to be rewarding and tangible. Um, and the Strength card is at the bottom of the deck. 
that is being in control of your thoughts, your emotions, your environment, both internally and externally to you. It's having the wisdom and knowledge to know when to exert that strength and when to refrain. Could be dealing with a Leo. All right, spirit team. Let's get clarifications on the board for my Sagittarius, starting with that Hierophant. As past energy, please. Show me clearly and precisely. We are going to just take that one. Yes, there is regret, sadness, regret, um, emotional upset over what was lost in the past here. Really focused on that. Not seeing the possibilities that still remain. What do we have here? For the higher font, please show me clearly. What else can you tell me? About this higher font. The sun, wanting to be happy, wanting to return to that place of positivity. Again, could be dealing with a Leo. Nostalgia. Queen of Wands. For some of you, you're definitely can, that could be you, Sag, there. All right, somebody being cold and distant had to make a head over heart decision. There's a lot of regret about this decision. There, but you were happy. There was a sense of happiness here um, when it came to a commitment, a life partnership, or something that you wanted to see to come together. Yeah, you wanted an opportunity here. What is this Three of Swords for the person that Sagittarius is most connected with here? Past position, Three of Swords. Please show me clearly and precisely. It is just three swords energy. That's too many. They show me clearly. All right, we're getting the Knight of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like somebody come in here and acted impossibly, acted quickly. The Knight of Swords here twice. You are them. Cross watchers, feel free to swap the roles as needed. Yeah, something came to something came to a quick. Brutal, brutal end here. There's feelings of betrayal, heartbreak, pain. What else can you tell me about this Three of Swords? One more on that, please. Oof. Nine of Swords, a lot of uh, sleepless nights, worries, anxieties. We're getting the Death card telling me that this was definitely done. Scorpio energy, Virgo energy with the Hermit. Um, needed to go within to get wisdom, separate. This person could have withdrew in the situation. There, somebody was holding back out of fear. What is this six of wands? I mean, you decide which side you're on, Sagittarius. I'm just reading it this way. But I feel like some of my Sagittarius are over here versus over here. Some of you are over here versus over here. So take it as it resonates. Okay, so we're getting the Emperor Aries energy. The Divine Masculine, the Page of Wands, Passionate Communication, Messages Coming In, or Needing to Be Spoken Here. Bear with me, one more minute, and the Three of Wands. All right, to... A decision needed to be made here, a choice, a decision. I feel like there was communication that needed to come in. Um, somebody needed to take charge in this situation, or somebody could have been very controlling, um, or maybe been manipulating the situation. And both of you wanted to come through this victoriously. There was a sense of wanting to reconcile this, but somebody had to take that first step forward. And I feel like no one did. No one took that first step out of the gate. What is the Six of Pentacles here? What is the Six of Pentacles for my Sagittarius? Please, past energy. Our current energy, excuse me, Six of Pentacles. Please clarify the Six of Pentacles. Show me clearly and precisely. Yeah, the lovers. Wanting to bring balance in this to this decision, to this relationship, the reciprocity, where both persons are given equally and balanced. Feeling stuck, unable to make a decision, unable to make a move, feeling trapped. Yeah, wanting a look at this. The Divine Feminine here wants a renewal, a new beginning, and love here to bring this balance to, to this relationship, to heal it. Uh, that's what I'm getting. They're very much stuck, feeling trapped, unable to come forward, 
need to take a time out of rest, a recuperation to contemplate the best next move for this partnership. What is this King of Pentacles? What is this King of Pentacles energy? Current energy, please. That's too many. Show me clearly. Okay, so somebody's put in, wanting to put in the work to bring balance to the situation. Could be a Libra. Okay, again, there's that strength card, right? That brave, that inner strength, that being in control of your thoughts and emotions, environments, this wish fulfillment to bring this back into a solid commitment level, higher levels of commitment here. Um, this is also could be marriage for some of you, but out of stalemate, look at this. Needing to make a decision, but can't see a possible way forward. Just as struggling, many energies, many things, back and forth, indecisive. What is this magician shared energy between Sagittarius and their person? Have wanting to manifest victory, wanting to manifest this partnership, reconciliation for some of you in this partnership. There's clarity needed in order to make a decision to take that first step out of the gate. The towers here, so secrets and things that were hidden were being were being exposed. Anything that is or was deception, deceptive, whether in nature or self-deceptive or deceptive by the other person. It's being exposed with this tower. But there is good news, reasons to celebrate coming in behind that. What is the Six of Swords? For my Sagittarius, please. Future energy. All right. Hanged man. So where you were in a place of inaction where something was moving, you're leaving that behind. Yep, I do see an offer of love coming forward. On that night, and either you're extending it. Yep, there's an offer for reconciliation, making peace with the past, moving forward, letting it go. Um, reconcile. There is an offer here to reconcile these differences on the table. But it's going to require moving behind, leaving the past behind you. All right, what is this Eight of Cups for Sagittarius' this person? And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. The King of Pentacles, the Higher Thought. There is Taurus. All right, appearing again. So I see this person walking away from a situation that was not emotionally fulfilling. They're, they're moving into a place of being very good, solid, abundant on their own. They are looking at the stability and moving towards commitment. They're wanting a new opportunity here, but there is a bit of indecisiveness. They're kind of wanting destiny to take the wheel, take the lead here. What is this Nine of Pentacles? Shared energy between Sagittarius and their person here. Show me clearly, precisely. What is this? Okay, so there it is. <laughs> being solid, being abundant, being good in your own, able to set your own attentions, allow it to come to you, flow to you naturally. Both of you may have been in so different situations where you're now being single. This is restoring the balance between you. Bringing this connection into healing, balance and healing and keeping your faith and hope and, and dreams alive um, where there was indecision, there's a new cycle beginning. Things are turning around in your favor. What was We have some indecisiveness still here of needing to make a decision to walk away from toxicity, things that were not emotionally fulfilling for that ten of cups, that joy, that bliss and happiness, but it's going to take um, a leap of faith. Stepping outside of the disillusionments, fears, and heartbreak and quit holding on to that. Getting the truth, getting the clarity, and leaving that behind in order to do that. I love it. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to pull a couple of Moonology cards here for you as guidance. What do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Right, Venus, August 10th through the 17th, please, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, August 10th through the 17th. What messages do we have for Sagittarius, please? Show me clearly, precisely, what messages do we have for Sagittarius this time? That is way too many. There we go. 
prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. Um, so this is this is definitely confirmation that good things lie ahead, abundance, blessings, and that some of you are connected with a Taurus. What else can you tell me? Expect powerful change. So something is going to happen that's going to give a face lift to the situation. We're getting it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Some of you may be connecting with a Scorpio at this time. What else do we have for Sagittarius? The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. You may be dealing with it connected to a Gemini. So far, Taurus, Gemini, and Scorpio have shown up in this reading. All the signs that were very indicated, and we have Aquarius here too. And Libra, Capricorn. All right, confidence is your key to success. New Moon in Leo. Some of you may be connecting with in Leo. And last but not least, nothing will come of this situation. Which you're really that up to your determination, which can also, can, what that indicates to me is that this can go either way. This could be confirmation that not, uh, this will not pan out. Some of you will walk away from each other. Others of you, there's nothing to worry about, that this situation will work out as intended to. All right. Sagittarius, that is your love flower cast for August 9th through the 17th. Thank you for tuning in. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Remember to live in light and love. Namaste. Bye for now.